And I'm moving so. I don't think he did. Yeah. 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 Well, I was explaining to somebody how Bruno took, we didn't, he didn't feel like he wanted to have yeah. the violin in the house for safety because he was 101. This is his On June 26th, a woman walked into a Manhattan hotel with an old violin that she had received many years earlier from her ex-husband, uh, who was now deceased. She was there to show the violin to a violin maker, an appraiser, to determine how much it was worth. The appraiser took a look, could immediately tell that it was, in fact, a stolen Stradivarius that had been missing for 35 years. He was able to confirm that the violin was, in fact, the Ames Stradivarius that had been stolen from the late violinist Roman Totenberg 35 years earlier in 1980. Upon learning uh, that fact, the woman who had brought the violin to be appraised voluntarily relinquished it. And our office then worked with her and the Totenberg family to draft and execute agreements uh, so ordered by the court yesterday to return this priceless family treasure to the family. The appraiser who saw it first told me that it's a miracle that it uh, had not sustained any major hits and is in good shape. We're deeply grateful to Philip and Jan, who's here today, for reporting the violin to the FBI uh, right away. We know the Ames Totenberg violin will now live long past our lives, singing our parents' love, their charm, and their enduring talent for living, and singing our father's magnificent musical artistry reincarnated again and again. Painting that had been smuggled out of Brazil, and it is always a pleasure and a privilege. 